Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Factorio Build Workshop. As always, I am here with Zuri. Greetings. So, uh, so yeah, today we're going to go over a, uh, a science build that was submitted by Experiment69. Uh, however, the original credit goes to, I believe, a YouTuber uh, named Minecraft Addict, and uh, Experiment69 just modified this design a little bit, and then that's what he submitted. But, uh... But yeah, so uh, it's a science thing that builds all four, or yeah, all four sciences and all the products for them. Uh, but there are some issues with it, and uh, I'll let Zuri cover those. Um, sure thing. So you'll notice, like this half of it is about half of a normal science build, what I would consider normal. Mm -hmm. But you come over here to the blue science, and that's about a quarter. So we're, even if you can feed this completely, you only have half the blue science you should have. And on this build, actually, purple science is doubled what it should be, but you should limit the box here. I mean, it doesn't actually request anything, so that's not really a problem. Right. But over here in steel... This is not nearly enough steel for this build. We need three or four, maybe even five of them to to feed. And we need to double the blue science. And then maybe this will be a good build. Maybe. Yeah, so it's, uh, I like it. It's creative. Um, I like the fact something I hadn't really ever seen before for science was like, or much of anything, was like sending this, creating this cable here and then all the products that need it, um, it sends it all the way down the belt. Um, I hadn't really seen that type of thing, like, for multiple different products. Um, so that's interesting. But yeah, there are some problems. So, like, just for uh, people who may still be wondering, um, some, like, quick numbers here. Um, that steel thing makes steel once every 8.75 seconds because, you know, the steel takes 17 and a half and the furnace crafts at a speed of 2. Um, this needs a steel every 12 seconds, so this, that one furnace runs, like, not even two of these. It's, like, two once in a while, but mostly just one. Um, so this third one's extra, and, uh, and yes, yeah, so you, you would vastly need to increase the steel production. Um, and then, also, a, another really quick issue is the, the way this is currently with this curve, um, there's a thing with this inserter where if this is not backed up, um, this inserter actually can't grab the uh, the circuits. So if we unback that up, this dude can't grab circuits from here unless it's totally backed up. It's trying so hard. I know, I just can't do it. So, I mean, that's obviously easily, easily fixed by just routing it through here, um, but there was that, and uh, now I'm not sure, we didn't really look at the other ratio, Zuri, um, just at first glance, I don't see a major issue with the others, I mean, some of it is a little overdone, but I mean, you can't, with this limited amount of science production, you can't really uh, do much about that. Oh, you could ask me about the circuits, yeah, this these circuits should be able to feed uh, this blue science. Yeah, I mean, and then, I mean, obviously, like, the belt and stuff, this is way more belt production and inserted production than you need for this amount of stuff, but, like, since you're only doing three, I mean, you can't really reduce it much more since you only have one assembler for it anyway. Um, but I think that was it. Was there anything else you uh, wanted to point out here, Zuri? Um... Don't feed this too much. Don't put all your goop in here, because it'll eat it all and put it in this unrestricted steel chest. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Uh, definitely be careful with that. And uh, Zuri did something kind of nice here with this slow belt. Um, it makes it easier. You can actually see the ratios, kind of, in which this is doing it. Um, you can see, I mean, <laughs> you saw the two blue packs come down, and all these have come down since then, and these two have just now been produced. So, like, uh, this blue science... It's nowhere near enough what you need, which is partially because of the steel, but then even if you expanded the steel, um, 
I think you said to Miser you would like need to double this blue science to even have uh, the right ratio compared to the other sciences. Yep. Alrighty. Well, there you go. I, I mean, I think it's a neat build. It's a uh, definitely a creative way of doing it. Uh, it is fairly compact, really, for all the sciences, but uh, you would definitely need uh, some. I mean, part of why it's compact is because I mean we're missing like four or five furnaces here. Um, and half the blue science, but if you added that stuff in, I think it would work fairly well, although, I mean, typically we like to do uh, about double all of the science here, even like quadruple the blue science that's being made. I mean, normally you want like at least like 12 or so. Yeah, 12 is my go-to number for blue science for most games. Yeah, and then like 6 for green, 5 for red, just so you get a base rate of 1 a second. But, uh, there you go, guys. That'll be it for this one. Um, the, as always, the blueprint string will be down in the description if you want to check it out, maybe tweak it yourself, uh, so on and so forth. But I believe that will do it. And, uh, any last thoughts, Zuri? Uh, nope. Alrighty. There you go, guys. As always, feedback, comments, suggestions, uh, submissions would be great. Leave them down in the comment section, and we will, uh, see you next time. Later.